hello guys it's prince dynamic here and i'm back with another tutorial and in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to design using png images to create awesome design so there's something i've learned with time over time i've learned that one of the things that makes your design stand out and makes you create a good design is um, the fact that you use images in your design text images and background in your design i've learned that with time there are times that you have to create um, simple designs so i've created i've broken down this design process into three and into three and the first part the first thing we'll be using is the background we are just doing three things basically background the text and the object itself so that is just basically everything we'll be doing so when you want to start your design process the first thing you obviously want to do is to create a new uh, to create a new file so a new workspace so i'll just leave mine at 3000 by 3000 pixel uh, let's ensure that my resolution is 300 and my color mode rgb 8 bits then i create so the next thing i always ensure i do is to crop it so i can hit the c button on my keyboard or i just move over to the crop yeah and i'll crop it for instagram size instagram size is 4 ratio 5 um instagram size 4 ratio 5 so uh, you can find the presets in the crop part so just click on 4 ratio 5 and it will set it to instagram size so after we've cropped that the first thing we want to do is to create our background so we'll move over to our background we'll create our background um but first let me see what image we can use what png image we can use so some of us have been asking me for all of these images but they are high quality images and trust me i've created everything i created everything and i compiled them and sold it for a very simple and cheap fee so if you're interested in purchasing my 500 plus graphics resources i'll leave a link in the description where you can get access to all of these 3d illustrations they are all png get access to these 3d illustrations get access to um stock images fonts and some other freebies are attached to it so i'm checking out for an image we can use so i never planned i never planned this from scratch like i, I don't even know what we want to design <laughs> so i'm just trying to see what image we can use let's go over to the stock image let me see what image we can use for our design so i'll just scroll over and check out all of these images um okay i think i like this one okay let's just keep checking until we find one we can use like i said i didn't prepare for this tutorial it's not like i just thought of something and i started creating so okay let's use this image i'm gonna bring this image in it looks more like virtual reality i think she's using that virtual reality stuff so you drag it into photoshop let's rescale it let's scale it down um, i think somewhere around here is cool okay so you can hide it the first thing we obviously want to do is to create a background is to create a background so i'm going to select the background color i okay let's hide this let's just hide this first you can unlock it or let's just leave it the way it is let's see what the way it is we'll create a new layer instead so create a new layer just on top of it you can name it you can rename it to whatever you want it to be so i name mine as solid then i'll move over to the color picker and i want something around purple purple pink kind of feel i want something purple pink kind of feel so this is the color code b nice zero one nine zero yeah okay so i'll use the bucket field to, to fill up my background with the color and the next thing i want to do is create another layer i want that to be like a light behind the image i want that to be like a light so i'm going to pick a lighter shade of this purple or i don't know what color you call it if it's purple or <laughs> i don't know but we're going to pick a lighter shade of it and we can rename this as you can rename any of the layer to whatever you want so i want to pick a lighter shade 
going to select something around here all right oh, i think that's not line enough okay so this is color code fl 0 a 8 yeah so just i'm gonna move over select my brush pick a soft brush round soft brush and i'll just click that's a single click okay um i'll increase the size of my brush a single click um okay this is better so i'll reduce my opacity to when i'm okay just try to try working around it see what works best for you you don't have to copy me design for design process for process so i think i like this i'm going to group i'm going to rename this to light so i want to group this and call it background yeah so this is our background we've created the color we want so now you can unhide the mid uh, model now this is the model you can see it's already looking nice and we still have some little things to do but it's already looking nice so let's just put this in the center let's just put this in the center so there is something i always like to create in my background i always like to add something like that kind of creates emphasis that emphasizes on the subject itself like just unlike the way it is now i wanted to lay emphasis on the subject just like the way the light is you can see the way it is now with the light it makes more sense than doing it without the light so this all right so um sorry about that now the next thing i want to do is i want to hide you can see how the image is looking like okay now i don't think i like the color of at it i don't like the way at it is so we are going to whiten up at it so the first process you have to work with adjustment layer work with different we're working with three different four different uh, sorry three different adjustment layer then a mask so the first one is the vibrance you select the vibrance i'm going to drop down the saturation to minus 100 the first thing the next thing i want to do is photo filter I'm going to change the filter to blue i'll use blue and reduce the density to somewhere around 15 yeah i think that's cool then brightness i increase the brightness of everything the brightness and i increase the constraints a bit too somewhere around 727 yeah i think that's cool that's cool for me so i'm going to group this together i'm going to group this together and i'll mask it now i have to invert my max by clicking ctrl high to invert the mask so next thing i'll do is select a soft brush I select a soft brush and i'll just paint softly on axis to review the effects that we inverted so okay always ensure okay let's just zoom in i i Let's zoom in so we can see have a clearer look i don't want us to do it over the gum just the white part oh now let's ensure that your foreground color is in white now let's ensure that your foreground color is white you can do that by eating x so you just want to brush over the teeth brush over the teeth ensure it doesn't touch a gum just over the teeth yeah we are not touching every other part just our teeth and then so let's do it this way just brush softly over all of every part of our teeth so you just brush softly over it okay i think this is making sense already it's looking good already every small part that is being reviewed I just try to give it color yeah so zoom out you can see that we've just made a very great change to our teeth so you can reduce your opacity based on your preference your personal preference so i like somewhere around here yeah i think this is still real so i'm just gonna merge it with the image itself so this is our model this is a model so um so now the next thing i want to do i think i still want to work on the background 
I wanted to have something like lines that would emphasize So next thing I want to do is I want to create a kind of background that will give emphasis to the image. So it's to just make it a little bit dramatic. So there's a way I do mine. So the first thing I want to do is so um, okay in the background. What I want to do is I'll create a new layer on top of the background and under the model itself. And I can call it light and I'm going to select the rectangle you can call it a light it depends on whatever you want to call it so I'm going to select the rectangle um, I'll remove the strokes I don't want any strokes then I'll rasterize the layer yes then I'm going to click select ctrl C to free transform it so I'm going to adjust the edges this note this note I'm going to adjust it and to the left uh, I'm going to bring it in I just want to see how it looks like okay I might decide to increase this bit and also increase this uh, I think it's becoming to be let me just reduce it I, uh, I think the size is perfect for me so okay let's add a uh, model let's I think we should add our model so we can work on the background. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer by like using Ctrl J, Ctrl C to transform, and I'm going to flip vertically. I'm going to flip it vertically, and I'm going to bring it down and ensure that they are aligned here, like something like this. So I'm just going to group both parts together, merge it together by hitting Ctrl E to merge, so you can move them together so i'm going to duplicate this and rotate i'll move it to the side i'm going to duplicate it like i said i'm going to rotate from the edge move it somewhere around minus 30 degree i pull it in yeah i think this is cool for me so i'm just going to duplicate that too and i'm going to duplicate that ctrl j ctrl c for transforming and i'm going to select flip horizontal flip horizontal yeah so that's it too um i'm going to create more you can just duplicate this too duplicate this again and i'm going to rotate ctrl c and i'll rotate to the left i like it this way okay all right so this is fine this is okay by me yeah so i'm just going to ctrl c duplicate first ctrl c then flip horizontally too and i think that's nice i think i need one more so let's just duplicate the first one and rotate to somewhere around 90 degree yeah 90 degree is fine now make it smaller I'll reduce the size I'm just gonna make it smaller and place it at the middle so so guys this is it now I'm going to merge all of these layers together all of these layers that we've created I'm gonna merge them together I'm selecting them and clicking ctrl E so you can name it as light 2 you can give it whatever name that works best for you I'm gonna name my light 2 background lights okay background light works best for me let's see how the blending mode is because we're working with blending modes let's see so the first thing i want to do obviously what i want to do is to blow out the edges because i don't like the sharp edges i'm seeing so i'm just going to blow it out i think i like something around 18 yeah it works good for me then i can just change my blend mode to maybe soft lights or screen multiply if you can check out some of my videos when I where I talked about this blending modes, you can just try whatever works best for you. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to know that okay, this is what will work. Just try what works best for you. So I like the soft light. I'm gonna reduce the opacity. This thing looks sharp to me. So I'm just gonna blur it out again. I'll just blur it out. I think I'm increasing to somewhere around 36. Alright. That works best for me. So I reduce my I can increase my opacity now. This is cool. So now I can unhide our 
I'm going to bring that into the background, sorry, so I can unhide her model. Now you can see the way it's looking like already. It's getting more dramatic. It's getting more dramatic, but I still need light. Like, I still feel like there should be light behind the image. So let's just create another layer behind the image. I'm going to change the color to something that looks like light. So let's use FF, use something FFCC00. Then select a sub brush increase the size and I'll just click right behind the head yeah and you can change that to screen I think screen works better let's see screen yes then I can reduce my opacity to whatever I like so I'm just gonna create more more lights around her I'm just gonna create more let's use um, screen create more lights reduce my opacity I don't want to be too much I just create light around her to make it real and kind of dramatic so i think i like this already i think i like this already so you can decide to play with your opacity decide to play with whatever it is depending on your personal preference like i said so i think i like my opacity around 68 so the next thing i want to do i want to create kind of lights on top of the image itself the model itself so it will just look like we placed it there so um let me rename this first model so i'm going to create a new layer on top of the model and i'm going to use a soft brush with the same color just create a light around her reduce my blend mode to screen reduce my opacity yeah not so much somewhere around here to fuse dark okay let's just create a new layer for that somewhere around here it's kind of fuse dark so let's just do that this opacity change it to um, screen and I'm going to reduce my opacity to somewhere around here okay that's cool for me let's see yeah, let's see somewhere here so this this is the background now we're done with the second part we've created the background and we've, we've done something with the image already so the last thing we just want to do is to add our text to it so we've done justice to this but i kind of don't like the background you can see it's looking not too real so i like to always have this grainy kind of feel right behind my my background so what i want to do is um i like you can see zoom in you see it's not looking so realistic everything is just plain and glossy there's nothing no grainy kind of feeling around it so let me just group all of this together let me just group all of this. I'm going to group the model and the lights together. Ctrl G. And I can rename it. I'm going to rename mine as model and light. And light. So that works best for me. Now I can hide the layer. So now I'm going to select the background. Uh, ensure that you hide the model and light layer. Select the background, convert it to smart objects. You're converting to smart objects so that you can always edit what you have in the image itself. So the next thing I want to do is to um, add the green. So to add the green, I'll click on filter, go to camera raw filter. This is where all the magic for the green would happen. So that is where it will happen. So I'm going to wait for it to load up. Sorry. Okay, now it has loaded up. So the part where you find the green is in the effects. Just go down to the effects panel. You can zoom in. Zoom in. Then I'll just increase the green. You can begin to see. Yeah, you see that there are greens on it now. So I think I like something around here. Twenty is fine. So I'm just gonna click on OK. Yeah, so you can see we've added the greens to our uh, background so you can unhide the model now so the last thing last thing we want to do now is this look perfect already this looks sweet already so the last thing i want to do now is the text so what can we write let's quickly think of what we can write um, let's see camera it's mm, i'm still thinking of something <laughs> pardon me i'm trying to see what works first okay so let us try virtual reality yeah so i'm gonna change my color 
Okay, I'm using objective fonts. If you want diamond for objective fonts, I'm using a super objective font. Then I'm going to change my color to white. I'm going to increase the font size. I think I like this size. I'm going to increase the line, the spacing between the words itself to somewhere around here, and the spacing between each letter to somewhere around somewhere around here is fine. Yeah. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to bring that to the center. It's right behind the image. I'm going to scale it down. I want it to be too big. I think this is cool. And this is cool. I'm going to click on OK. So uh, I okay. Let's just give this reality a new color. Let's give the reality a different color. And it's different from virtual so it will just be a plain color so let's give this a different color i like to then select something around yellow kind of golden yellow close to orange or not too much yeah i think i'm okay with this now virtual reality this is a nice design already it's a nice design so let's just add a few more texts just add a few more stuff let's say this is so you should read this is virtual reality but i'm not cool with this font so what i'm going to do is i'll just look for a font that can work so let's try something around creation i think i have a font creation yeah okay uh, i don't like the way creation looks like let's change the color first to white so let's look for taken by vulture i think that works fine yes so this is it yes so i like this let me just increase the space between each of the letters yeah so i'm okay with this i'm gonna bring it down this is virtual reality so guys you can see that we've just created a wonderful design using a png image so let me bring in my signature i just created that stuff it's a simple font on, on photoshop i just created it so let me just put it somewhere in the corner maybe somewhere in the corner here yeah. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I think that's perfect. This is fine already. So let me just work with this. Yeah, you can see the way it is. I kind of feel I should add something to our face itself. I feel I should add something to our face, more like a light. So let's just create a light screen mm, i don't think i'm okay with this i don't think i'm okay with this color let's see okay so um let's just try something else okay, let's create a new layer on top of you know, and just select white brush we're gonna brush over the screen of that virtual reality so let's change it to white you can just try whatever workspace for you i'm just trying this out like i said you can try out whatever thing that's the best way to learn i've never tried this before so i'm just trying out to see the result and see how it's gonna look like just try out things just keep on trying out things don't wait for a tutorial or anything just keep trying in the process of trying out things you get to learn better so let me paint this yeah this is cool let me erase that outside part of it so i'm gonna erase this part i don't want so this is cool so let's just change the band mode to soft light screen and let's do soft lights oh we can just use the opacity for the screen there's the soft light <laughs> i think that's better so i think i like the way it looks like now now it shows that there are reflections of light on the screen the virtual reality screen so you can reduce your opacity. just play with whatever works best for you so i'm going to merge all of this together into a group i'm going to group it all and i'm going to rename it as all so i want to have a scalable jpeg that i can use so to get that you can see i can move this you just have to select Control plus shift plus alt plus e to do this so you have this already so guys we've come to the end of the tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to work with mockups i'm be teaching you how to design with mockups so in the next tutorial i guess we should use this image for a mockup to see how it looks like 
so guys enjoy yourself don't forget to practice and also i've created a platform where we can all review our graphics together so i'm going to leave a link in the description you can just send in your works would would correct we'll look at it together and would help each other grow i'm not saying i'm a king or i'm a king of design but we can help ourselves so have a wonderful time see you in the next tutorial peace out